All right, so prospecting in the traditional sense is dead. It's no longer necessary. I don't care what anybody says. It still works. It's fine if you want to do it, but it doesn't need to be, especially in this day and age of the Internet. So I want to show you a few ways to do it. One right here in this video. Uh, you can use Reference USA. And in order, it's a free um, database of compiled classes of uh, whatever you want. You know, it's just a database of new businesses. You can find all businesses in the U.S., uh, new businesses. Um, you can do this if you're prospecting for a job. You know, you have job searches and all this. Uh, but it's pretty amazing. Uh, and it's a streamlined version of uh, Info USA. So this is one resource a lot of people don't know about. Just go check it out. You have to have a library card in order to use it uh, using one of their, you know, um, participating libraries. So you can just find out by here by clicking on this library locator. Um, but I'm already logged in, so I'm going to show you what it looks like from, you have to log in via your library uh, that you've uh, signed up with. So I'm going to show you from my library account. You just go to the, you know, the keyword section and I'm going to type in Reference USA. It's going to search. And then it pulls up the electronic uh, version of the database right here. I'm just going to click on that and it's going to take me to a logged in version of that now. So now you can see I am now within the members area of Reference USA. So I use this all the time uh, to uh, sort out brand new businesses. I like going after brand new businesses. Uh, there's a whole, you know, you, you can use whatever strategy you want. This is just mine. And what you do is you go to custom search. And you can do this by, uh, let's see here. I like doing it by time frame. Date range, I'm going to click on that. Notice this is showing me uh, about 4 million total uh, new U.S. businesses in the data in the database. Uh, I like looking for things less than within the last two years to actually do it by um, do geography. And I'm going to go and pick the local city. Actually, I'm going to do it by county. I'm going to select California and my county. Let's see if anything comes back. Oh, I have to <laughs> view the results. Let's see what we got. We got twenty one thousand. And look at that. I've got all of these businesses. You know, you can you can narrow it down if you want to go after one particular vertical or niche, you can do it. But look at this. I mean, I've got all of these businesses that I can reach out to. Sometimes it comes with a phone number. Sometimes it comes with an email. It may not always be the case. But this is just one powerful way to start reaching out. And you can start doing direct mailing campaigns to them. Um, there's, there are ways to research to find out whether or not there is an available email address. That works about 75% of the time, uh, which I'll share with you if you decide to opt in. There's, uh, I'm going to give you uh, two more ways to prospect using desktop uh, pros uh, marketing. Um, so that you don't have to leave your desk in order to get a business to sign up with you. Um, you can do everything that you want. You know, I've, I run a local offline marketing business from my home, from my desktop, um, from my desk uh, rather, uh, while I do other things. And I keep a few clients on board uh, whenever I need to get a new one or replace one. I just use these systems and these prospecting methods that I will share with you to decide to opt in. This is just one of many ways to do it. Opt in, and I'll give you a few more tricks for free, absolutely free, of how to go out and start prospecting effectively from your desk without leaving. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it useful, and I'll talk to you soon.